Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time, I got frustrated with the case. This time, let's not get frustrated with the case. And hopefully, this will be a lot smoother than the last time. So, welcome back to the Blue Moon Club. Someone's getting a problem. The flames in me. I'm so confused. And now my heart, a blazing ruin. You say that you were only a fool, and don't walk away. Don't do me wrong. Don't leave. But, what about the wife? The studio secretary murderer! Er. I wonder if it's gonna be just like the other ones. I feel like there's a really good chance. we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring and matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside the railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. We have an age? Okay, that's a little bit different. Usually we don't get the age right away. All right, so this is the rail yard. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. Where exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, though? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? Huh. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Well, I forgot there's two locations, because he did say that. That's very interesting that Muller is back on this. There's no way that... You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Nah, anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators... Cole, Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. I mean, yeah? But... Wait. Oh, wait. That's right. Again, if you haven't figured it out, you will. How can I help you boys? Help me out. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks? Try another number. 20? Try 10. You'll feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Huh. <laughs> I mean, that's well played. What's this mark here? Maker's mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. How do you... Thanks for the tip. Are we guessing both of them did? Does this mark mean anything? I'll mark it. Gives you an idea of the quality. Hmm. I don't think that helps. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street. London, Tulare County. 
Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? I'm not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. Very interesting. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? All right, let's go to the crime scene finally. If I don't stutter my way through it. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Blair County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that one? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. If the Dahlia letters are genuine, then the man who I killed Elizabeth Stewart may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. No, he won't. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. I don't know why he's struggling driving all of a sudden, either. Alright, so let's see how this is gonna go. You boys ready? Follow me. Wait. We should keep this development with the rings. We're all on the same team, Rusty. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. You got it? I get it, Rusty. I just don't like it. Fair. Oh, come on. Oh, she has clothes on. Okay. I got worried for a second. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck in the house. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. All right, lady. Ugh. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell. But it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Yeah. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. I would probably agree with that. Let's see if there's any rings or anything missing like every other one has. I feel like this is part of the same chain of command as we just confirmed already. Another missing ring. It certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Well, Can you be it. more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Okay, that's fair. Is that her handbag just chilling here? Oh, gosh. We're missing half a letter. Someone was trying to get her to come home. What's this pink thing? We could oh. go over to the lot and see what they know about her. Legal? That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Wait, what? So, so what's she been doing since? What's this thing? Anything important? This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. No, I want the... There we go. I don't know why I wouldn't move the finger... Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. I mean, we're seeing a bar pattern. All right. What do you got for me? Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? 
You sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. Oh, come on. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Is that lipstick? Oh, come on. Classic Carmine. Bruh. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. All right. Why? You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. He's right. That's all he did. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick in her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. Okay. How'd you find the body? You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Uh... Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. Mm -hmm. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Yeah. Fly. You get this sack of shit into a cell, I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Alright, so... Easiest thing is, let's go figure out the liquor store. Everything else we've done really well on, but we don't really know anything about this liquor store that she went. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. Fair enough. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, like I said, we're going to go to the liquor store. You can if drive. You don't do the liquor store, exactly you're not going. going to get five stars. <laughs> Spoiler warning. So hopefully this will be pretty easy. It reads that those goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them. Yeah, yeah, I read about that. Those people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay. Uh! Man. Armies can't fight without food. You spend all your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Yeah. Fortunately. The Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overthrew a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? He's, he's got a point. Alright, so... Hopefully this looking for some good stuff. And our radio keeps going off for no reason. Of course, the liquor short up and seven days late. Why wouldn't it? Oh, we don't have to get talk immediately. What can I do for you? LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. Well, this... Yeah. How did you know she was dead? The fact the way he answered that question also immediately, I didn't like. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. Now, you let us take some to the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. Huh. <laughs> Rusty being Rusty. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but oh. I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store. That was never going to work out, was it? Not really. We have a book. We'll take a look around. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grobner McCaffrey. 
Is that how you pronounce that name? Okay. Is that a bowling pin? Why? Why is there a bowling pin here? Balling's bowling alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place. Corner of 9th and Graham. Thank you. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday night. Makes my life a little bit easier. Let's go talk to... Did you already go back over here? Wow. He moves quick. So, contact. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit? To pick up some of her things? Got a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Okay. Seems legit. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Uh-huh. So, tell me about the bit your relationship. Were you and Devil in close, Mr. Robin? Not many people will be sad she's gone. Oh. I'll be one of the few. Okay. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay in here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. That's fair. Okay. McCaffrey. You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. You're not telling me something. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. She seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Right. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I can get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. I got a feeling we won't get the right guy just yet. But we will. Alright, so let's go to the bar. You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Of course, go to the bar before the bowling alley. You know it's the bar with every single one of these cases for a reason. And that's very important. I don't have to walk in again? Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. I mean, that's all you're going to tell me? Who What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Oh! Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How yeah. well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Mm, but we already have the, the uh, saying. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Tell the truth, sir. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes, strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. Okay. A regular fifth columnist. 
Nice to meet you, comrade. Yeah. <laughs> Said they're like shit. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. However, we know that's wrong. You're lying, McCaffrey. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. But why was your name in a book that flat out says McCaffrey? Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself, lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. Oh. As if she could even comprehend any of it. I believe that. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. Who? They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. Wait a minute. Okay, so... At the moment, all I want to do is talk to the bottom of my glass. There is a glitch in the game that you may not get another question with. You're me, behind the wheel. And I thought like the question was important. Where exactly are we going? But it should it hurt us for not doing it. And that's why I said you did. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven King. There's a reason why I stopped that. Because we're not doing that first. We will go to the, the bowling alley first. And I'm going to drop because I forgot about that part. We have to do this first. <laughs> 